Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some emulation on the all new GPD Win Max. Now I've already created one video with the Win Max. I showed off some PC gaming, ran some benchmarks, went over the specs and everything like that. So if you're interested in learning more about this handheld PC, definitely check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description. But in this video, we're strictly going to be dealing with emulation. I'm going to be testing out some Dreamcast PSP, PS2, 3DS, Wii, GameCube, and even Wii U. Now, before we really jump right into it, I do want to mention that I had issues with RPCS3, the PS3 emulator, and it really boils down to the Intel GPU driver that I have installed on this unit at the moment. It works with OpenGL, but it's a bit slow because OpenGL isn't as fast with that emulator as Vulkan, but when I enable Vulkan, it totally freezes up, and it really comes down to the new driver that I'm using here. So hopefully that's fixed in the future, and when it is, I will come back to that emulator. So real quick, let's go over the basic specs. For the CPU, we have the Intel i5-1035G7. Four cores, eight threads, base clock of 1.2 GHz with a boost up to 3.7. The GPU is the built-in Intel Iris Plus 940 graphics with 64 EUs, 16 GB of LP DDR4 RAM running at 3200 MHz, an 8-inch IPS touch panel at 1280 x 800, a pre-installed 512 GB NVMe SSD plus a micro SD card slot so you can expand storage. It has a 57 watt hour battery and it's running Windows 10 Home. Now these are just the basic specs. I went over pretty much everything in my last video and I will leave more specs in the description because there's a lot to this little unit than you're seeing here. But now it's time to jump right into some emulation. First up we have Dreamcast. So for each one of these games you're going to see tested in this video, I will have the name of the system, the name of the emulator, and if I'm upscaled or not, and the name of the game on screen at any given time. So here we have the Redream emulator running Sonic Adventure 2, and I'm upscaled to 1280 by 960 The Redream emulator is absolutely amazing, and this little unit could go much higher in the resolution with this, but the built-in screen on the Win Max is 1280 by 800 so there's really no point if you're playing on the built-in screen. But overall, with Dreamcast performance on the Win 2, as long as the game is compatible with the emulator, you're going to have no issues running it at full speed. So I got a couple more Dreamcast games to test, and to make it easier on me, I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my game capture so I can record the screen properly and we can get a better look at it. But the next emulator coming up is PSP. Another one that's going to work amazingly on this unit is PPSSPP, the PSP emulator. 5x resolution, no frame skip, no hacks, I have filtering set at 16x, and overall performance has been outstanding with this. So the games I chose for this video run at 30 and 20 FPS, and the reason I chose these is because on lower end hardware, I've always had issue running these three games you're going to see. But I also went through and I tested some games that I normally test, like Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus. They run perfectly fine, even at 5x resolution, no frame skip, no hacks on. So again, just like the last emulator, as long as the game's compatible with said emulator, which is PPSSPP, the game's going to run fine. Looks like the sneaking around part of this party is over. Incoming!
Moving up to PS2 with PC SX2, this is Ratchet and Clank 720p. Really impressed with the performance here. Now every once in a while you will see it dip down to around 57, but in the grand scheme of things, if you don't have an FPS counter listed on screen, you'll never notice it. I was super impressed by this, and overall PS2 emulation is amazing on the Win Max. Moving over to GameCube and Wii emulation with the Dolphin emulator. 720p because that's basically what our screen is at. I did test them at 1080 and I didn't notice any performance drop at all. Overall, we're getting amazing performance with the Dolphin emulator. By the way, I'm using the Vulcan backend with GameCube and Wii. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. I also wanted to test out some 3DS. Here we have the Citra emulator, 2x resolution using the OpenGL backend, and performance is great. So at the beginning of this video, I did mention that RPCS3 was having issues with the Vulcan driver, and so is SimU. This is the Wii U emulator running Breath of the Wild. As you can see, getting lots of glitches, and it freezes up on me. And this is when I'm using Vulcan. Same thing happens with RPCS3. So I swapped over to OpenGL here. And while it is working on OpenGL, performance isn't great, and I totally expected this. We would get much better performance out of Vulkan, but with the latest drivers that I have installed here, I'm just running into a lot of issues with this built-in Intel GPU and Vulkan drivers in RPCS3 and SimU. So I'll either have to wait for a new driver or just downgrade to one that does work, but I will be coming back to this in a later video. 
So besides the driver issues that I'm running into with a few of the higher end emulators, performance here is great. And if you want to do anything under what I've shown you here, like N64, SNES, Sega Saturn, it's all going to run at full speed. It's definitely the best performing handheld PC that I've ever tested on my channel, and rightfully so, because this is definitely one of the most expensive ones that I've ever tested also. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I at least have one more video coming up on the Max. I'm going to be attaching an eGPU to this thing because we do have Thunderbolt 3. But if there's anything else you want to see running on the GPD Win Max, just let me know what it is in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.